Welcome, everybody, to another QB Power Hour. Today's topic is simplify your life, automate your work. And I know we all can love this title today because this is something that can truly help us turn hours to minutes that you'll hear about a little bit later. So we're very glad to have you joining us today. Um, we've got some great content coming up. Um, but you guys are really in for a treat today because Automate can truly transform your life and literally save hour, turn hours of work into minutes. And so that also we can do things for our clients that will save them significant amounts of time as well. All right, so Dan, I see you've got my bio slide. Thank you. There Welcome, you everybody. <laughs> if you don't know me, I am Michelle Long. I'm a CPA with an MBA in entrepreneurship, the owner of Long for Success, longtime contract trainer for Intuit. And I love going around and meeting you all in various cities around the U.S., as well as I've gone across Canada and to London and Australia and love training you all no matter where you're at. So we're very glad to have you join us. If you want more practice with QuickBooks, remember we just updated the QuickBooks Online Practice Set. You can find that available on Amazon. Dan, my Blue partner mind. I could not live without. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Dan DeLong. I'm with uh, Dan Witt. So if you don't have enough bandwidth, you need some Dan Witt. I originally, um, I, for the past couple, almost couple decades, I worked at Intuit uh, in the tech support side of the house, really proficient in all things in the Intuit ecosystem, and I just finished technically editing QBO for Dummies, the fifth edition. Um, and when I went to um, Scaling New Heights, uh, I bumped into a couple guys there, and uh, I was just blown away, because one of the things that I really want to do in my business is transform businesses through technology, whatever that happens to be, whether it's you know in QuickBooks or with their website or just really make things simple so that they can focus on their business. And I bumped into uh, to Brian with um, with Automate and um, just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about him. He's going to introduce uh, some of the other folks on the on the on the call as well, um, but. Uh, I was just blown away with what what Automate really is. And and uh, Brian, can you can you talk tell us a little bit about the history of Automate? Yeah, so uh, we started about six years ago, and we started doing some complicated stuff in healthcare. Uh, and we basically automated a bunch of EHR stuff. Uh, and then we got into the accounting and finance. We took the tech that we we did for you know basically integration challenges in the healthcare space. And, and took that into uh, the Intuit market, and we won the Shark Tank last November. And right now, uh, we will specialize in helping CPA and accounting firms organize their data from all the different systems that they have. Um, we, we are a simple platform, and we look forward to introducing it to you. So. Yeah, and um, you know, the the theme of of scaling new heights being a transformative advisor. I mean, it resonated with me, but. When I was the more and more I, I I talked to you guys, it really just kind of resonated with that. I mean, this is like a game changer type of thing in that in that space. Um, and you got you got a pal with you there. So who who's who do you have with you? So I've got uh, Brad here with me. He's our chief operating officer. He's uh, worked with a lot of of uh, SaaS companies and and helping them grow. And he's been really instrumental and uh, focusing on our app roadmap, which we plan on launching about uh, 15 different apps in the next year and a half, uh, leveraging our platform. So uh, he's been guiding and directing us and he's been a huge, huge player in our team. Uh, but he's also a lawyer and he's got a lot of experience uh, in the accounting space as well. Awesome. And uh, he's gonna be answering some of the, the questions. So it, as, as, as you guys start to, um, as we as we talk a little bit more about what automate can do and and go into a little demonstration of of one of the the apps um you'll be able to uh, ask those questions in the in the chat or in the question box and brad will be there to uh to field those questions uh, as well so awesome thank you guys both for joining us so 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 before we move on i just have one more clarification so brian you mentioned that you won the shark tank last november can you kind mm -hmm. of explain what that was for people yeah it was for the qsp program and basically just the best up-and-coming company with an application in um the quickbooks online and quickbooks desktop space 
And so basically we, you know, the, the, the high up and into it were, were the panelists. And so we had some of the big wigs there and, and uh, we were competing and we, we won. So. so that's quite an honor. So thank you. you. You mentioned it really quickly, but it does really help you all. It helps, I guess, to prove how wonderful Automate is. You know, Dan and I know that. Um, and obviously the others agreed with us when you all won that. So I think that's a great honor. So I just wanted you to talk a little bit more about that. So thank you. Um, okay, a couple more admin details, and then we're going to turn it over to them so you all can learn about this wonderful tool. Um, we're going to remind you the power hours are every other Thursday for the most part. Our next one will be October 3rd. As you know, our topics are generally QuickBooks tips, what's new, troubleshooting but we also cover things like marketing and value pricing and other topics to help you with practice management for growing your practice and, and, and just doing a better job as well as helping you learn about amazing tools and apps that can help you and help your clients like Automate. As a reminder you can get the slides for the whole year at that URL right there. The recordings will be there and now we also have this available in podcasts so if you're not available to to watch the recording you can listen to it as you're commuting to work or whatever we have Dan to thank for getting that done for us and figuring out I am so happy to have him as my partner um, <laughs> because he's able to do this stuff um, and, and take care of it so I love that, that that's available now the handouts are not there right now but as Brian's talking I'm going to take care of that and get the handouts for today uploaded there as well as in the go to webinar toolbar Click. There we go. And as a reminder, <laughs> upcoming events. I wanted to remind you about the QuickBooks Roadshow or the Intuit Roadshow. Um, we are coming to various cities all across the U.S. We're going to be doing intro to QuickBooks for the first like month or so. Then we're switching over to core and advanced certification. Then we have some amazing courses that we put together and we did them last year well received everybody raved about them so we're doing them again this year we're doing grow your practice workshop talking about helping you um, to grow your practice we got great exercises to help you with you know identifying your services your pricing packages and things like that we also have a master class so if you want to get in and go techie and get more details on working with QuickBooks as well as a master class on your practice and how to transform your practice those are great sessions. So go to that URL link. Um, I'll show you how to access it in one second. We will be in cities all across the U.S. East Coast, West Coast, North, South. We're going everywhere. So we'd love to have you join us. And then as always, we'd love to have you join us for QuickBooks Connect. There's um, great flight sales right now on Southwest Airlines. You can fly into San Jose or San Francisco. We'd love to have you join us there. Next. Yeah, I'm to totally stoked with uh, Southwest do finally doing direct flights from Tucson to uh, to San Jose. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah, I've got yep. direct San um, for Southwest directly to San Jose as well. So I love that. Awesome. All right, go ahead and go to the next one. I think we're almost done. Oh, there's a slide here that shows you when you go to QBTrainingEvents.com down at the bottom, you'll see they have free webinars every single month um, on a variety of topics. In the middle where it says in-person training, that's where you can go look, see what cities we're coming to, book a cheap flight on Southwest Airlines if we're not close to you. We're going to be down where it's nice and warm in December, <laughs> like Miami, I think, or Orlando, um, or Houston. We'd love to have you come to some cities and join us for some of those. And then they have a virtual conference almost every single month. Um, so go to that QBTrainingEvents.com and check some of those out. Okay, as we go to the next one, okay, the agenda, we're going to learn from Brian, um, we're going to learn about Automate, what it is, what it can do, and how we can automate these processes and save, like they say, hours of time transformed into minutes. Um, then we're also going to get, get a demo, Brian's going to go in and add, actually show us like the automate transactions for QuickBooks Online. So he's going to go in and, and actually show us a few things that help you to see how truly easy it is. That's the thing that impressed me the most. I'm not a techie. I'm not as geeky as, as Dan is. <laughs> but hey. it's truly amazing how user-friendly it is. And I think that's a game changer because it makes it easy for people like me, you know, that want to do something but don't have that technical deep knowledge. So, um Brian, do you want to go ahead and uh, take it over? Thank well, you. Uh, I, I am honored here to present. I uh, appreciate this opportunity. Um, we exist as a company. I always like to start with a vision. Uh, we exist as a company to help 
you and accountants and CPA firms to organize their clients' data to get things done. And we exist to be the easiest way to do that. Um, you can look at us as the universal uh, translator for building connected applications. You might be asking, what does that mean? Um, hopefully, uh, some of you guys have seen Star Trek. Um, you know, if you have, and you're familiar with it, it's my favorite show when I was growing up. And one thing I loved about it was, you know, they had some complex challenges. Uh, one of the problems they had was communicating with alien species like Cleons and Vulcans. Um, but thankfully, due to modern technology, they were able to use the universal translator. And now they were able to communicate as we are communicating today uh, with other species. However, a lot of times you might feel like you're communicating with alien species when you're working with all these different systems for your clients. And they're all discombobulated and not not easy to work with. And a lot of times you might be sitting there in the middle like this person trying to cobble together data from multiple systems, um, which is which is challenging because a lot of times these systems talk in different ways and you need to get them to work as if they were made to work together. together. So you might be cobbling together data in Excel. You might be um, moving data manually into QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. All of these problems uh, are challenging. What we do is we make all of these systems speak the same language from uh, your social files, collaboration, ERP, big data, accounting, finance, CRM, and marketing. We specialize in the accounting finance part and we literally connect to every major accounting system. Um, so I'd like uh, Dan to kind of talk about just some interesting use yeah. cases here to kind of unravel that a little bit for you. So, so should I do this like, uh, like William Shatner? So here, start date. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so you know, the 160 systems is a, is very daunting. So like uh, you know, kind of thinking of this in in kind of real world uh, scenarios, right? So uh, let's say you want to integrate your your Gmail with your Facebook, and that now that contact information you want to send that to Mailchimp, uh, or get information from your YouTube channel and send that to Mailchimp so you can start you know, email, an email marketing campaign. So Automate, right, will will allow you to do that, right? You'll be able yeah. to synchronize those those systems. So you don't have to copy paste or, um, you know, however you would would be doing it now, Automate will then be the hub of, of all that and allow that then to push into QuickBooks as well, right? Yes, that's correct. Awesome. And, um, you know, if you've got a Magento e-commerce uh, site and uh, you're using Salesforce as your CRM, and then there's a, a an, a, an Excel spreadsheet that's that's being sent to you every, uh, every so often. You, again, you can set up Automate to literally automate those those processes and synchronize it into into QuickBooks. So one thing I really liked about um, you know QuickBooks is or into its mission is to be the ecosystem of small business. And I kind of liken that to you guys in that Automate is the ecosystem for apps and, and systems that are out there that can kind of pull that all together, right? That's right. Awesome. Well, uh, I guess we want to handle the first poll question here. I'm sure you guys find that a lot of your clients have more than one system. Uh, typically, when I work with a client, they might have five or six systems, like an accounting system, a CRM system, um, an ERP, uh, you know, also a marketing system. So, you know, we just want to poll you and see how many, uh, you know, clients you have that need to integrate with multiple systems. And this is just in in terms of just number of clients, not necessarily how many systems they have, but just the number of clients that you currently have. So somebody asked a question, um, and, and this is a really good call out, Brian, is Automate like Zapier? Yeah, that's a great question. So we are we are like Zapier in the fact that we connect to a lot of different applications, but we are different than Zapier because Zapier does one record at a time. So let's say that you want to import, you want to say someone, someone add, you add a new customer to your CRM in Salesforce, and you want it to create a new customer in QuickBooks. Well, what about all those thousand other customers that you have in the past? Well, those can't be added because there, there was not an event that was triggered. We can actually go and connect to the full API 
application program interface and pull in all your customer data and pump it in there and also keep it in sync. So that way you can have a true sync of all your data, apples to apples. Yeah, that I think when amazing. when you when you get to the um, to the demonstration, um, we'll we'll be able to actually see under the hood and see what that uh, that integration actually looks like. Um, and it, uh, I'll, I'll let you let everybody know up front, it's not scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the results of our poll, poll question. So some of you have none. Some 40% uh, have one to two, then 23 have three to five, and 20% six plus. One of the things that I would like to let you all know is that this tool, Automate, can help you to learn to identify the scenarios and the clients and the benefits from using Automate. So this is a great opportunity for you to expand your services at a higher value um, of services and increase your revenues for your practice. So thank you all for answering that question. Question, Brian, uh, we need to see your your real screen. There we go. Thank you. All right, continue on. Uh, so we have a, a basically one of the things that we've done is we are we have a product that connected to 160 systems, and there was um, we, you know we we can been in the enterprise space. So we have like you know enterprise features for building applications integrations, and so one of the things that we realized when we got into the the accounting market in November last year when we kind of you know uh, really focused on this we have a lot of cool tech that that kind of really handles a lot more complexities than than this industry this space is used to because healthcare has a lot of complex needs but we needed to unbundle a lot of our features so that that users could really um, see it in a very simple way it's very very intuitive so we are launching one of 15 products we're launching in the next uh over the next uh year and a half and so this is our first we're probably going to be launching a new product one one per month or or uh, be, be more accelerated a little bit further next year but this is the one of the first that we're launching you're going to find it in the app store uh sometime mid-october um we will we'll let you know uh, as soon as as soon as it's released, but you can purchase it sooner than that. Um, but we're going to be able to put your accounting on autopilot, and so you're going to be easy be able to eat the data easily in and out of QuickBooks Online. Uh, so it's it's called Automate um, Transactions for QuickBooks Online. So you know if you spend a lot of time manually moving data in and out of QuickBooks uh, from Excel files and Google Sheets or CSVs or tabs or even XML or JSON files. Uh, you might not know what those are, but you, you may. If you are, you, you'll be happy to see that we can import those and export those into um, and out of QuickBooks Online. So now the days of manual data entry are over for you and for your clients. Uh, some of the cool features that we have is the ability to make these into templates that you can share with your clients and they can automate that. You could give them, let's say a Dropbox folder or a Google Drive folder or a box folder that they could drop a file in and immediately gets processed. Then you don't have to have the email from your client and remember to upload once a month and you've got so many other things going on. You can just say, hey, we automated this for you. Here's a link, drop your file in this UI or just drop it, in share, uh, drop it into SharePoint or any of these different things, or FTP server, it'll automatically schedule and pick it up, um, making in, you know making this your life easier. And we're going to be able to connect to virtually any type of file that you might have, um, and be able to get that data in and out of QuickBooks. So you can do what you need to do, like delete transactions, modify transactions, um, get rid of erroneous data, and modify the data rapidly. Uh, get real-time edits, you know, right back to QuickBooks. Um, and then ex export transactions. And, and we also have a management portal so you can see every single uh, error or every single thing that may not have gone in because of an issue and you can easily fix that. And you'll see how simple this is in just a minute. So we support a lot of different types of transactions, uh, any type of customer transaction, vendor transaction, um, some of the others. Uh, we literally support 99% of everything uh, that you can do in QuickBooks. Um, anything that we don't support is just not in the API, so we can't add, add that, but you can even do your know, vehicle mileage, um, and we have all the list data. So virtually everything you need uh, to migrate from one uh, QuickBooks file to another, from another system, uh, to automate your creating sales receipts from a file for a client. Um, so how, how does this work? 
Well, uh, it's really simple. You basically, you just select the transaction or list that you want to import and say, hey, I want to create sales receipts. You import the file and then it runs and validates it. And then you can also, it saves it as a template and you can reuse that or share it with your client. So you might be asking, you know, what makes you different, uh, you know, than some other companies out there that, that may be allowing you to import files? Well, we have a lot more functionality, uh, especially for the price. Uh, you're not only able to import and export, but you're also able to modify and delete. Um, you can also have write back functionality where you can uh, write, have a UI where you can just write directly back into QuickBooks online or other systems. You can have automatic file pickups and drops or send a, give your, your uh, client access and they can upload themselves. We have text and email notifications. We even have advanced features where you can use like a query builder to build um, a new queries to grab data, and it's really easy to use. Plus, we have 140 potential integrations that you can leverage on top of this product. So the best way to really move forward is give you like a use case or a problem. Um, now, Mike, as, as you might know, um, if you are a QSP with QuickBooks, they have a commission structure where they pay out on a monthly basis for your commission for like QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop Sales. And I've talked to a lot of CPAs and accountants and it takes them about an hour to two hours per month to manually copy that. If, if you really want your books accurate and you wanna know, you know where your commission's coming from. So they have to create a sales receipt. That takes a long time. Where what we're gonna do is, is in a fraction of the time it would take to just enter your sales receipts, we're gonna automate that process in less than three minutes and then obviously I'm going to talk through it. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but I'm going to show you how you can do it in less than three minutes. And on top of that, how you would be able to uh, do this for your clients. And this is just a simple use case. There's a thousand other use cases you could probably have for getting data in and out of QuickBooks. But what this is going to do is eliminate that manual entry for, um, uh, for any accountants or CPAs to enter this commission file using um, automated transactions for QuickBooks Online. So let's just walk through the simple workflow here. Basically, we're gonna take your sales receipt workflow and, and, and basically automate that. So you're gonna receive a email with you know, commissions or, or report data, and it's an Excel file. You're gonna download that Excel file and upload that into the automate platform. Uh, then you're gonna um, automate your transactions with the platform really quickly and easily. So that you can, um, you know, basically go from two hours to three minutes, and then you also hand that off to your client, so it's really easy. So we're going to be able to turn hours into minutes. So let me and just that's start. That's what I love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, seriously, that ability is just so amazing to save us significant amounts of times as well as our clients. I mean, that's where we can make a huge difference. Um, to our practice as well as our clients' business. And that's why I think Automate is so incredibly helpful for us as accounting professionals. So I'm gonna basically just show you our website real quick. So this is Automate.com. You can go to products, and this is the Automate Transactions for QuickBooks Online product. And you can look that up right now if you wanna see the details. And, and what I want everyone to do is sign up for a free trial. We're going to be doing a 30-day free trial. Um, you can click on Start Free Trial here, and then all you need to do is just enter your contact information and just say, you know, free trial, okay? And if you send that to us, we'll put you on the list and we'll send you a free trial uh, so you can get access later next month. And so, Brian, could I add something in there? Yes. Okay, so one of the things, if if you all are like me, free trial sounds great, but wait a minute, if I'm importing things into a QuickBooks file or a QuickBooks company, what if I get it wrong? What if I do something wrong? And that really scares me, and I like to have that backup. Like we used to in desktop, back up the company file before we would do things, so if something went wrong, we could restore the backup. 
I want to make sure people realize you can do that with QuickBooks as well. You can use something called Chronobooks or Rewind or a number of others. It's allowing you to create a backup or a restore point so that when you sign up for this free trial and you do want to test it out and things, um, that you could go through and test it without fear. Or you could create your own testing company using Chronobooks or Rewind. You can create a backup and restore it to a new QuickBooks test company, like a free trial there, um, so that you can do your testing in a safe environment um, without fear of messing up live data. And is there, uh, is there an option uh, if, when you do import or write something in to undo what you've done? Y yes, there is an option to undo. Oh, okay. So Great, you thank you. Undo, um, update those options. And, and we're uh, also updating this regularly. You're going to be able to have new features and functionality very quickly. Um, so I just want to give you guys a high level. Um, Automate does uh, two things really well. It builds integrations and it also builds applications. So we are uh, you know, rolling out some report builders in the near future. So keep a lookout for that where you can build stuff like this using your QuickBooks online data and other sources. But once again, we're able to connect to a lot of other systems, uh, all these accounting systems, social, REST, big data, network, marketing, collaboration ERP, healthcare systems, CRM, financial, e-commerce, and files. So we've got you covered in that capacity. We're just rolling out and unbundling what we currently do in very simple workflows so you guys can get stuff done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this plus button here. We have a lot of options right here. It really says, what would you like to do? And so, you know, we can choose, you know, create a dashboard, create a franchise. We also, we just did Jimmy John's. We're doing a few franchises like Financial Force, create e-commerce integration. We could do a conversion, process a file, or create integration. We're just going to focus on this first product here, which is the processing the file. I'm going to click this button. And basically, this is what type of file do you want to import? Uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to do a import file, and then you can choose what, what your source is going to be. Is it going to be uh, Amazon S3, a box, Dropbox, um, you know, FTP server? We're just going to do a local file drop. And so what I'm going to do is, is uh, this file, uh, some, somewhere from my note, I know it's, it's, it's Jim's. Um, this is going to be his commission file, right? So I'm just going to put commission file so I know what, what this is. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna select this file. I think I have it uh, open already, so I can quickly grab it. So I'm just gonna grab this file here. It's a partner program. I'm gonna drag that in here and hit create. What that's gonna do is it's gonna specify the file format. Uh, so right here we have you know customers, we have uh, you know payment details. You know we can specify what's required or not required. This is basically just saying, hey, this is what this file looks like. Um, so what we can do is hit next, and then you can see all the different connections that we have, right? Uh, which we have quite a few. So we're gonna focus on just QuickBooks Online. So we click on QuickBooks Online, and we're gonna call this uh, Jim's uh, QuickBooks Online account, okay? And I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna choose uh, his accounting method because we do generate some reports and stuff like that. I'm gonna hit create, and then I'm gonna log into QuickBooks. So sometimes QuickBooks takes a second and then it's going to bring up a screen here. And then I've already had logged in there previously. So it just allowed me to, to, to move on. And then now what I'm going to do is click on uh, sales receipt here as an option, but we have all these options. We also have a query builder for anything that's not in this list. So that means like basically the whole API. <laughs> so you have full access to everything in QuickBooks uh, that's available in QuickBooks Online. I'm going to choose creating a sales receipt, but you can see, just take a look, you got uh, credit card uh, transactions, customers, deposits, employees, estimates, invoices, journal entries. You would just choose the one that you want. And what's really interesting and cool about this is that actually we made it look as close to what QuickBooks looks like as possible. So that now, is, that I just want to interject here. That is something that I have not seen in any other option with the, that that's out there because now you have the screen that you're basically going to be seeing as it is in in quickbooks and with just a drop down now you can choose where that is going to map to so that is a huge a huge thing 
I agree, Dan. That is what I love, too, is that makes it easy for people like me that aren't a real techie, and uh, it, it makes it so user-friendly. And, and I couldn't agree more, Dan. I think that is, is huge. I love that. Great point, because we're trying to make this as easy and simple as possible uh, for you. And so, you know, that's our goal. We want to be the easiest possible way for you to organize your, your client's data so you can get things done for them. So what I just did was basically each one of these become drop downs and here's all the values. What I did was I selected the right values here. So I selected the customer, uh, payment date, payment description and payment amount, uh, just as, as while we were talking here. And I'm gonna click next. So what we're gonna do is now this is gonna be a saved template and we're gonna be able to reuse this. So I'm gonna call this uh, you know, commission file, the gems commission file. So what I usually try to do is name it the name of the, the client. Um, to QuickBooks Online, to a sales receipt, right? And then I'm literally just saying, hey, I'm saving one to two hours per week right now, okay? So I just we just freed up Jim, uh, or you can charge them, do value-based pricing and charge Jim for one to two hours per week or, or per month or however often you get the commission files, right? Um, and then you can also schedule it if you use Box or Dropbox or, or whatnot, and it'll tell you, hey, you, you, you didn't load the file. I'm going to hit finish here. And so now and Brian, it's... Oh, ahead. sorry, go ahead. I'll ask later. Go ahead. Um, so right here we have review and validation right here. So notice that there are uh, nine successful sales receipt entries and there's one error. So right here, it, uh, if we go down here, this, this pulled the data from the file and there's a, an issue here where they, the amount was actually set as an as. So I, for some reason, maybe a typo in the file. We're going to make that a number. And then all you have to do is click on up import now and then import everything, okay? And then you can see all the successful records that were imported. Um, I'm just gonna close this out so I can show you some cool stuff in just a minute. We do have the ability to run now. So you just, here's like, let's say you have a ton of like connections for clients. Here's the connections to Jim's file and the, and the, and the uh, QuickBooks Online integrations. Here's that Jim's integration, right? And in the future, you're gonna be able to build apps for your clients. So you're going to have all of this ability right here. So I'm going to open up Jim's commission QuickBooks Online sales receipt, and then you see a process dashboard here where you can see that there was a total of one uh, it ran one time. There was one uh, um, one transaction that was um, unhandled here, and this is where it gets really cool. What we're able to do is click this button right here, and then it basically holds this menu here, and then I can actually go in here and look at the process history, and I can see that this ran successfully when it ran. So let's say you're, it's automated and it's running every week. You can The client will know that it's running if you wanna share this with a client or if you wanna make sure that these things are running at their critical processes for client clients. We can also have share this with the client and they can upload themselves. So you can literally give the client a login here and I'll show you that in just a second. And now they can come in here and they'd only see the options that you allow them to do. And then you would, they will be able to upload that that file. So now you can literally hand that off to an admin or someone with without any knowledge of the accounting system. And all they have to do is get a file and drag it in there. And if there was an issue, it would let you know. We also have text, email notifications as well. So uh, I can show you that in just a minute. But um, right here as well, we have the uh, file history. You can download the file that was uploaded and then you also have uh, the ability to get all the details. And finally, you can manage users. So right here, we added in the current users that are in the system uh, that are in your company. And then these all have access. You can change their edit rights to editor or read only. Um, and so I'm gonna change them back to an admin. And you can also uh, give them you know, the permissions that, they, that you want them to have. So if you really want to be able to um, get uh, you know, some value for your clients, you could share, you could add a new user here, and then they would be able to access um, this app. And what they would see, would they would just see this one integration, and then yeah, they would so be able not, to click on they're that. They're not going to see, they're not going to see your entire dashboard. They're just going to see what the app or the process that you've just laid out, right? That is correct. That is yeah. correct. And they can't do any editing or changing or messing anything up, right? Nope. <laughs> Nope, you're good to go. And basically in the, in the user management screen, you give it the access rights you want to give them. 
And so if you want them just to be able to upload the file, you can do that. Um, and so, so now the client can get, get in here and they wouldn't see all of these options. They would just see the upload option. Um, and then instead of you having to upload the file, you'd be like, hey, client, I have something really cool. I've got a cool cool app with Automate. We, we automated this for you. All you have to do is go in here and, and just upload your file now. And all that you just saved two hours, you know, and they're going to love you for that. So now you don't yeah, have to. That is amazing. Um, so, Brian, in, in your demo, which I love seeing how amazing it is, in your demo, you mentioned that um, you can just drag and drop a file like from Box or Dropbox or something. So, Tammy had a question How secure is Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, et cetera? I'm looking for a secure way uh, for clients to send confidential information. Yeah, so that's a great question. So I'm going to go back here and go into um, process file and click on import file. So, um, you know, each one of these has their, their, their pluses and minuses. Um, FTP, if you click on FTP, we have SFTP enabled. So if you have SFTP enabled, you're going to be able to, it, it's very secure. Um, Google Drive uh, is very secure as well. We do a lot of stuff with healthcare. Um, and so we do a lot of stuff with, uh, you know, PHI data. And so it, we, we would use Google Drive in those cases. Uh, S3 is very secure. Um, you know, Box and Dropbox are, are good. Are good. Um, uh, you know, ways to share the data. What you do in that case is you share an individual folder with that client. And that client can only access that one folder. And then they would be able to upload to that folder. And we would be able to process that automatically. Um, and so, so it would be a very secure way of doing a whole lot more secure than email. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, uh, we usually use SFTP for healthcare clients, and then we'll use box and uh, Dropbox for accounting clients, just because it doesn't have to be as rigorous. And so, so Brian, SFTP is secure file transfer protocol. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Okay, and, so, and then also Larry had a great amp, uh, uh, question. So I love Automate, I'm gonna use it. Is this a client specific application or can I as a pro advisor use one installation of Automate for several QBO clients? Like how yes. does that work? Do you buy one for each client or one for all or can you tell us how that works? Yeah, so what you can do is you can buy, we charge per user and per client, okay? So per, per client file. So it's $3 per user, right? So you'd have your account and then we'd charge you $3 per client file. So then you can add, you know, 15, 20 accounting files and $3 is not that much. So let's say you have three accounting files and one user, uh, you're looking at 12 bucks a month. Um, and so you're, and you can, you know, when you're done with an integration or connection, it's super simple. You just go over here. And if you say, you know, I, I am, I'm done with this connection. I don't need any more. You just delete that. And then, then you go down to nine bucks a month. So, but, um, so you can, so and we oh, go ahead. The thing I thought about your pricing was, oh my God, it's that affordable to save, like you said, hours to minutes. I mean, I think that's huge. And I think you've done a great job of, of setting the price point to where it's very affordable. And I mean, the, the benefits you get from that and the time saving is just huge. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, I mean, we want you to grow with us. So as we launch like all, all the features that we've kind of built enterprise applications with uh, for large companies, we're going to be rolling that out and we're basically bringing what low code, no code. If you guys are familiar with that, meaning this has been unaffordable in the small uh, to mid-sized business. If you wanted to get a low code, no code platform, you're talking a hundred thousand dollars for your integration platform, a hundred thousand dollars for your um, low code uh, app builder, and then you're you're looking for specialists, right? Where we fit in is we have all three in one platform at, a, at, a, at a, like literally like a fraction of the cost, and so we're you, bringing low code, no code, and we're empowering CPAs and accountants. So we want everyone to sign up for the newsletter because we're rolling these things out fast. And you guys are going to be really empowered because you're now we're turning basically accountants who know the client's data into developers. And so that's a really good like kind of next segue here where I can kind of talk about what you can do with Automate and what we're coming, rolling out here in the future. Can you if tell I, that story oh. of, of, of how you 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 came in and, and it took like 
three people's work into and, and you solved it in it's just a matter of, of like 30 minutes. Yeah, so uh, so this is a healthcare company. Like we're basically taking low code, no code to your space. Uh, and they had three different systems, Salesforce, uh, SharePoint, and a proprietary call center database. And they had a problem where they were having to have their call center um, employees have to make, um, switch between three systems. So Salesforce, SharePoint, and a call center database. And so their calls were taking 10 minutes and they brought me in and said, hey, we, we'd like to check out Automate. And so we, we did a demo for them. And we just said, well, let's just connect to your system. So we picked out, you know, on here, we went in here and found Salesforce, right? And then we found, um, you know, um, SharePoint, right? And then we went into their proprietary SQL database. And then we, we just created logins for it. And then we built an application. And on one screen, they had their customer orders from one system, their inventory items from another system, and the chat and support information from another system. And they were actually, we, we had built that in 30 minutes from scratch in the demo. The senior engineer that was on the, on the project that I was talking to said, wow, you just built a product that some of the one that we built took us a year and a half with 14 engineers and built that in 30 minutes. That, so let's that's, talk that's about phenomenal. value pricing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's the thing I think that's so amazing about this tool is that once you learn it, which is very easy thanks to how well you've built this, once you learn how to use this, you can do amazing, amazing work and projects with this. And this is definitely value pricing. We're talking, you know, thousands of dollar projects here. We're not talking hundreds. Thousands. And so, Brian, I have a specific example for you or a question for you. Can this be used for apps outside of QBO? For example, whoops, my question just moved. For example, um, can, it, uh, can it connect with e-commerce sites and bring over sales transactions? For example, can it sync sales from Amazon to QBO? So do you want to talk about that a little bit? I think that leads into what you're getting ready to talk about coming next, too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so uh, what you can do um, is we're, we're rolling these new products out. So just think of these as niche uh, products that do one thing really well, because what we were doing was charging for the whole platform, and and we kind of made a lot of people's head explode while we talked about, <laughs> hey, here's what you can do. And, and we found that, that you know, in order to really resonate with this market, we, we really needed to take a step back and really simplify. So what we've done is we're unbundling the current features that we have and coming up with very competitive pricing, okay? So like I said, we have 15 apps rolling out. It might be more than that. Um, but what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to um, you know, say, hey, let's say someone wants to do an e-commerce integration. So they can come in here and they say, well, um, what, what, what e-commerce platform do you wanna use? Uh, well, we've got Volusion, okay? Uh, all right, well, let's go through Volusion and we'll get connected to their Volusion account. And then you can say, well, what, how do you want to connect? Let's just use QuickBooks Desktop for this because it uh, just less options. Yeah, a lot of people are asking, does it work with desktop? Does it work with desktop? So then you just answered that question in one yeah. fell swoop. <laughs> and so we, Thank we're, you. We were doing QuickBooks <laughs> Online first and then we're rolling out QuickBooks Desktop thereafter. So if you're interested in QuickBooks Online, Let's go go with the QuickBooks Online app and then sign up for our newsletter. And then once that's ready, it'll literally be an option for you in the app. Um, so I'm going to choose QuickBooks Desktop, hit create a connection. And then what do you want? How do you want to import? Like, what do you want to import from the, the e-commerce platform? Well, I want to create sales receipts. OK, so then you can choose the, the you know, items that you want. You can choose daily or transaction based. We'll do a daily summary. We'll choose nightly. Well, uh, but let's say, yes, we do have the products and, and QuickBooks are ready. It's by product name. I'd click next. And then you, you do your chart of accounts like this. And we're going to be rolling this one out early um, later this year or just in January, most likely. Um, and then you can actually choose uh, the SKU mapping. So let's say that they, one system has large filter. This one has LG filter. And then you can actually map this for the client. And now, how much time are you saving for that client? I mean, think about it. You, you just automated their entire e-commerce, what, in less than three minutes? So, I mean, think about the value-based pricing here. So, 
Um, exactly. I mean, that's so incredible to me because you've got all these clients that have set up a shopping cart here or shopping cart there and, and they've got things, but then you don't have that link to get the data into QuickBooks. Or maybe they're using a, a point of sale system in a restaurant and that doesn't talk to QuickBooks. You know, this is just like you said, it's so amazing how creating that link, the significant amounts of time that it saves, plus you don't have data entry errors, and it is, like you said, a perfect opportunity for value pricing. It's just amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do, though, Brian, is we kind of forgot to do poll questions. <laughs> so I'm going to launch a poll question now. How many hours do you see this saving you in a month, saving you or saving your clients? Start thinking about some of those clients where you have to do a journal entry to get the sales and the deposits booked into QuickBooks, or you have to do some manual, you know, daily sales receipts to get the information in there from a point of sale client or something. Think about some of these situations where you could use and implement this with some of your clients um, to streamline their processes or workflows in addition to within your own firm. And um, so Dan, uh, or I'm sorry, Brian, does this convert PDF bank data into importable files for QBO? So we it, do, it, we do not do uh, OCR right now. Uh, okay. uh, character recognition, we focus only on data sources that have uh, files or database or APIs. Uh, uh, but so you could you could find some way to convert that PDF into a file and, and or convert it into an Excel file and then bring it in, right? Yes. You right. make like a multi-step process. And right. there are tools. So for for some of us as pro advisors and accountants and stuff, sometimes the client all they have is PDF bank statements or PDF credit card statements. We do not have to input the data manually. You can like uh, like Dan just said, there are tools like um, Money Thumb and other ones that will convert the PDF into a file which you could either input or import then into QBO or into Automate and into QBO. Um, so if all you have is a PDF, that still doesn't mean you have to do manual data entry. There's no reason to do manual data entry anymore. Almost never. I mean, we've got the tools and the technology to import that data and get it into QBO. Um, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this poll question, and I'll just share the results verbally with you. Um, we have 51% say one to four hours, 23% five to nine, 14% say 10 plus. And I would venture a guess, the more you all get to know this, the more you'll realize the opportunities for using it. Um, pretty soon the, bell, the bells and whistles just start going off. Oh, I could use it here. Oh, I could do that. This client could benefit from it. Oh, this one would benefit. You'll see lots of opportunities for this. Um, so great. Um, Brian, if you want to go ahead and continue. Absolutely. Um, so let's talk about pricing. Uh, we, we have a 30 day full access trial uh, where we give you guys uh, the ability to connect to a company file and import and full functionality. Um, and so we are signing, uh, we'd love to have you guys join the list. Like I showed you on the website, just say you're interested in the demo, we'll put you in the list. And when we have that uh, link for you to get access, we'll send that out to you and you can you can get, on, get access for free and try it out. Uh, once again, it, it's $3 per uh, user. So if you have a team of like say three, uh, three people, you might have three users and then they can all add all your company files. Let's say you have uh, 10 clients, then you can have 10 company files or just two or three, however many you're actually automating. And, and then, so it's very affordable. And if we just save you one or two hours of time, I mean, that pays for itself, you know? Um, and so, I mean, even, even a fraction of an hour, like 15 or 20 minutes would probably pay for just one user and one uh, company file. So That's amazing. Cool. And so, so, Brian, we had a question. Are the is the pricing the same for desktop and online? So, uh, for online, it's three dollars. For desktop, we haven't rolled pricing out for that, but it most likely be five dollars or somewhere in that range because it's it's just harder to deal with because of the fact we have to install a tool and manage that. Because okay, it, okay, so, yeah, and then. Another quick question, does it work with Canadian taxes? You know, they have the GST and HST. Um, does it recognize the sales tax for Canadian? 
So that's a great question. So we, we basically support the full API of QuickBooks and QuickBooks has multi-currency. And so you would just, you would just, it would handle it when you import the file. It would, it, you know, so if you had to do like a conversion or something like that, we, we could, uh, you know, manage that. But um, yes, I mean, you have the full access of what's available from QuickBooks available to you. Is it, is it only the U.S. region or is it um, the other regions of the global areas of, of QuickBooks as well? Like QuickBooks all, Online? All the global areas. However, we don't change the language in our site yet. So you, okay. you still, it, it'd be in English, but you can process, it would still process transactions just the same. And if your file was in another language, it would work just fine. So Brian, uh, we did have a question. How is the security? So that's a great question. So we have been in, like, like I said, healthcare. So we uh, have a lot of big healthcare clients. In fact, we have our services installed in hospitals all over the nation, which means we have to go through security audits. Uh, we're HIPAA secure. We've got a third party a client that uh, validates us for HIPAA security, which is a lot more stringent than the a lot of the accounting um, uh, requirements. Uh, we have, so we have third parties that validate us. We use all the best practices that like Google uses, um, like OAuth security, um, SSL connections. Um, so, you know, you're looking at a very, the same methodology we do for our healthcare clients, we're doing for you. So it's very, very secure. Okay, great. And another one for you, Brian. Let's say somebody's got a lawn care company um, using Yardbook. Would this work to help employ, import invoices from something like that, like Yardbook? Yeah, so if Yardbook can export that into a file, uh, you know, you could have you know, two options. One, you can just open up the UI and drop the file in there and it's, all, it's done. Uh, you can also, um, you know, set it up with Dropbox and drop the file in a folder and then it automatically processes. You don't have to do anything. Um, so so you, from Yardbook, let's say it doesn't have like export data. Could you print a report of the invoices in, in Yardbook and turn that into a file that you could use? Yes, you could absolutely do that. Yes. So something as simple as I'm using Yardbook or some other specific um, software that the client might be using for sales. So they're using Yardbook. If you can create a report that lists all the sales transactions for the month or for the week, then you can then integrate and, and pull that in and import it into QBA, right? Or QBO, that's cool. sorry. Yes, absolutely. See, that's what's amazing, people. This is so <laughs> cool that, I mean, these, these specific examples, I just love it. So Dan, or Brian, we got lots of people saying, how do I sign up for a demo? How do I sign up for a demo? So I'm gonna go ahead and launch this uh, question here. Um, what would you all like to know more about? The referral program, the affiliate free trial, um, or maybe it's not your cup of tea. So answer that also. We will share the questions with um, Brian and Brad. So if you could go ahead and top, type in there, I want a demo. We will have them reach out to you um, and contact you to schedule a demo where they can um, go over things right. Is that okay to do that, Brian? Absolutely. And we'll, we'll, we'll reach out to you. And also we have a newsletter, so you can also sign up for that as well. So. Okay, very good. Then somebody asked, do you start charging after the 30-day free trial or do you just turn it off after 30 days if they haven't signed up? So we turn it off. I mean, you, you, we would just say, hey, your trial's ended. Would you like to enter your credit card information to move forward? So right. we don't ask for credit card information until uh, your, your, your trial's over with and you're ready to move forward. Okay, super. And I love this. Okay, so Joe, I'm, I won't use your last name to protect your identity, but I know Joe really well, and she is very much into point of sale and QuickBooks point of sale, and she's looked for solutions to integrate with QBO, and she's tried this one, and she's tried that one, and there's always some kind of problems or issues, and she just shared a comment. Wow, possible QB point of sale with QBO. This is huge. I agree, Joe. That's the thing I'm so impressed with. Um, so, Joe, I assume she's probably going to want to demo with you as well. Um, and we got lots of people requesting that. I'm going to go ahead and close this poll question. And, um, Brian, if you want to go through your last few slides, we've got a few minutes left. And then Brian and Brad have generously offered to stay uh, for a few minutes over. So those of you that would like to stay for additional Q&A, we will do that. Um, and then we have their contact information. So don't leave yet.
Awesome. Well, once again, you know, our website is automate.com. And if you want to sign up for the free trial, uh, you just go to automate.com. You click on the, our product uh, transactions for QuickBooks Online. Click on the uh, start a trial and just say interested in trial. And then we will we'll send you the, that information so you can get logged in and start using the application. So, um, yeah, so we do have, uh, you know, what's in it for you? We do have an affiliate program. Um, so if you refer a client to us, we will give you 10% of that spend um, if we, uh, you know, if we move forward and, and, and automate that process for them. We also are rolling out an ASP program, which is Automate Solution Provider, where you will get 20% of the client spend. And basically, you're just managing the client acquisition, the develop, uh, develop the scope of work, collaborating with Automate to complete the client configuration. And we're going to have a training uh, program launched later this year, so stay tuned for that. And finally, if you uh, become a full-on Automate reseller, you'll get 30% of the client spend, and you'll be able to handle all aspects of the client experience from acquisition through successful implementation. So you're gonna be able to automate a lot of different projects over the next uh, year and a half as we roll out all these features that we currently support uh, in our platform. Um, and we, uh, the best way to get started would be our Automate Affiliate Program, where you can basically build, build trust with Automate and um, you'll be able to uh, be a hero and let your clients uh, see that you're a workhorse, basically. You can knock this stuff out. And so the benefits of Automate are going to be able to add value uh, to your existing client base, earn a commission, increase re revenue, and we have a dedicated support team as well. So it's super easy on our website, just one, two, three here, and just go to a partner referral program and just enter, uh, get started. And then if you have questions, but this is on our website, you know, how much does it cost to join? It's free. Uh, how do you get started? The whole nine yards, it's on our website, and you can sign up right here to become an affiliate. I think, I think that poll is actually... Okay, yeah, um, I skipped one of the polls because we were a little oh, behind. So gotcha. go ahead, um, Brian, and we'll, we may do one more poll here in a little bit, but continue on. Yeah, so I want to kind of talk about our technology roadmap. Uh, so right now we're, we're launching the QuickBooks Online, which you can access now. We'll be shortly after rolling out uh, QuickBooks Desktop. We might roll out point of sale. So we'd love your feedback if you want to see one of our 160 different uh, connections kind of populated on our roadmap. We'd love your feedback. We'd love to hear what you want to see um, because basically we're configuring these options in this simple user interface so that you can uh, onboard your own clients for uh, creating integrations or creating uh, applications. And also, I just want to mention kind of like one of the reasons I want you to sign up for our newsletter. If you go to our website, sign up for our newsletter. We are rolling out some really cool things here. Um, so you can just sign up at the bottom here to subscribe to our newsletter. But if you do subscribe, uh, we get to learn about uh, this new feature where you're going to be able to build applications for your clients and that's where you're going to be able to create dashboard reports and so forth. We're going to be able to be, build charts. We've got uh, a series here, and you can actually build these on the fly uh, for your clients from you know, QuickBooks Online and then all the other systems that we're connecting to. And we're rolling that out as well. So please stay tuned as our roadmap unfolds. We've got a lot of, of, of great um, you know, use cases that we can we can do because we've got 160 full API connections. We've got e-commerce, CRM, ERP, and so we would love to help you be able to graphically map your clients' data to get things done for them in minutes that are taking hours. You know, we just did one for uh, Jimmy John's recently. We went; they had 12 stores. It was taking a full-time job just to import that data. Now it's completely automated, no touch, and and they're able to get numbers like that day instead of once a month. So Crazy this fast. <laughs> revolutionize people's businesses, you know, and you're going to be able to integrate with, um, you know, Salesforce, HubSpot, Marketo, and other third parties. Right now, we're just rolling out the QuickBooks Online, but we want you to connect with us because we don't want you to be left behind as we roll out all this stuff, and you can, you can really benefit from coming in the ground floor with us as we roll out e-commerce and all kinds of on-premise solutions for QuickBooks Online. And Brian, I think this is just so amazing, and I love how 
you've made it so easy because when you say you can build this for your client, I mean, I'm like, oh, that scares me. I'm not a techie. I can't program. I can't code. I don't know this stuff. But when you do it so graphically with little icons and the way you have it, it is amazing what we non-techies can do to integrate and link all these things together. So I just am so impressed with how you've dumbed it down for people like me um, to make it incredible. And you've got a lot of people that are really interested. Um, Tammy said this is fantastic, um, and other people are saying how much they love it as well. Um, so I think that is just great. Um, I want to make sure you all know those handouts have been put in the GoToWebinar toolbar. They're also in that um, OneDrive folder. I will double check that because you, you've got their contact information right here, but you also will have that in that handout, so you've got that available to you. Um, but we do have time for some additional questions. We are getting some feedback, Brian. A um, couple of people, I think we got so many people going to your website at once that it might be a little slow replying and responding, and um, we're kind of overwhelming your website, I think. Oh, well, that's a good problem to have, I guess. <laughs> I'm with, uh, 100 yeah, so if you all are having problems, just wait a, wait a few minutes and try again. Um, another quick question, though. Can you connect Zoho Forms data with QBO? Yeah, and, and that's a great question. And yes, we can. Uh, but here's what we're doing. We're rolling out like the functionality that you desire, the community desires, and we're basically rolling that out in a way where you can uh, be empowered to do it yourself. And so by doing that, we are we are learning from this space. What what connections do you want? You know, what we'd love to do is you email our, our use case. Let's say it's the point of sale or Zoho, uh, Zoho or one of these use cases, and we get you know three, four, five people say, hey, we want this. We will we will convert our roadmap and say, let's do the point of sale because we have you know 10 people interested in this functionality and then that will be moved up in our roadmap because we literally have you know 15 plus applications we're rolling out from QuickBooks desktop point of sale um, and then even in other accounting spaces like Sage and NetSuites and so forth. So we want to hear your your what you want because we already have the full connection to to um, all these major CR, CRMs and so we would just figure out what your needs are in that space. So just let us know what you're desiring and, and we'll we'll put that on our roadmap uh, so you can log in and access that. Wonderful. So Darius says, this will allow me to repurpose my data entry staff. Excited. And I think that's what it's all about. For us as accounting professionals, the bookkeeping and, and the, the drudgery and, and the data entry, it's being replaced and automated. And, and that's where Automate really can help you to move beyond that data entry. And so he's saying, I can repurpose my staff. And I love that. I think that is great. <laughs> And then um, they want to know if you will be at QuickBooks Connect, and I assume you are, right, Brian? Yes, we'll be there. Yes. We don't Can have a booth there, but uh, we will be there. Yes. Put your shirts on so we can find you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, okay, and do you all provide training? Like, let's say I want to do this. How do you help me get started and, and know how to do this? That's right. So first thing we're rolling. So so one of the things that we we're, we're, we're doing is we we were we were empowering you to become a developer. So we're rolling out uh, training programs. Uh, so we're doing video now. This file processing product is going to have video training for you to do. Okay. And so that's why you know we took a step back when we really moved in this market because we said okay look we have all these features we all have all this functionality how do we empower our our CPAs and accountants. Uh, and bookkeepers, so they can do the job of the developer and they can be empowered because they have the power because honestly, the power belongs to you because you understand your client's data and the amount of time it takes for, for you to communicate to me what you need, you could have learned our system and be able to do it yourself. And that's our goal. And so being that our long-term goal is that we are rolling out training programs which are available through our website if you're on our newsletter, we'll be notifying you of when that's available. And we're gonna, our first training program is gonna be step-by-step, -step how to automate importing, exporting, deleting, and modifying data from QuickBooks Online. And then after that, we're gonna roll out another training suite for the next app that we're rolling out. That way we can really focus on empowering you and you know what's possible. 
And so, uh, and once again, we want you to stay in breath, uh, stay informed because we're going to be rolling out all this functionality we've already built. We're just unbundling it and giving it to you in a really nice package to empower you. And so you're going to be able to have that functionality in a, in a video uh, and, and, and documentation where you can search and find answers. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm envision I'm an env envisioning Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory when those kids <laughs> just went into the candy room for the first time, and all these accountants are running around looking. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yes and dan you like you're like a kid in a candy shop you love to play with this and do this and things what what has been your thoughts and experiences if is if, if you've delved more deeply into it over the past every, few weeks and months every time that um that i get to connect with uh with brian and brad i am just blown away by just the possibilities that that are out there and available with with in a one-stop shop you know, no, you're no longer having these to piecemeal Frankenstein together. You can join it all together and even use Automate to to create some dashboard reports. So now you've almost got like a uh, a custom database, uh, you know, report builder. Yeah, and I think it's amazing. I mean, when you think about it, the large companies had these ERP systems that were hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. In the past, large companies had these ERP systems. Well, now we have these small businesses that might be using an app here for their business or an old program here, and they're using QuickBooks, but none of it talks to each other and stuff. Now, Automate makes it possible to do those integrations to create a very powerful system for these small companies at a fraction of the cost, and it allows us to be able to really transform ourselves into, dare I say, a programmer or an integrator. <laughs> I mean, you know, me, not the techie, I can do it too. And that's what I just absolutely love. And the capabilities of Automate, it's just mind blowing what all is possible out there. So I'm really glad, Brian, that you and Brad joined us today. Um, we are getting, you know, a little past the time and I want to make sure to be respectful of your time. Um, but um, somebody, just one last question from Roberta. What about if you have cash register systems where they're just getting the Z tape from restaurants? Do you have any suggestions on that, or is there a way to integrate that? Oh, okay. So, so when you get the, those tapes, it's all paper based, right? So, um, you know, if you had, uh, there, there are a couple options. You know, one, no matter what you do, you're going to be faster entering it through our system. If you're entering it, like putting Excel file up and have to, let's say worst case scenario, you have to manually copy that data from that sales receipt and you just put it in a line item in an Excel file and then pop it into our system and load it. You are going to be slight years faster. Um, but and, and Brian, that's, that's exactly what I used to do with some of my clients is I had an Excel file and I took their Z tape and I put like number one next to this number and on the Excel file, I put a number one there. So they knew exactly where to put the numbers in the Excel file. And I would have them fill out that Excel file throughout the every day at the end of the day, that's part of their closeout procedures. And then periodically, like weekly or monthly, you can import all that using automate and get all that into QuickBooks. Um, so it, it still can help you streamline that process. And like you said, be faster than any other way that you've been doing it. That's right. And then, you know, we take that a step further and create a template. So now you can have anyone from your office just drop a file, you know, so that they can get things done quickly, you know. And so now when you, you go in there and you're kind of like, you know, designing how you want the data imported. And then you can go in and finalize that. Um, and send that out to your team and they can they can drop a file in Dropbox or Box or um, you know just just drop it in the, and drop it in that little app when you share it with them. So we, we, we've kind of built these in like little component templates where you can have you know 50 of them you know. Awesome and I launched one final poll question because we still have lots of people on here with us. Um, just real quickly you know what app integrations do you all struggle with? You know what areas are you you know, finding where you are still doing processes manually or the client is, you know, what areas do you all struggle with? If you want to go ahead and answer that real quick. Um, another question for you, can this fix the issues with Square? Like, can you do Square integrations? So once again, we connect currently to the full API of Square. Um, now, one of the things is we're rolling out these, kind of like these tile operations. You saw Volusion and I'll kind of walk through that process. 
we're looking for good problems to solve with the 160 connections that we have. Now, we don't expect you to be able to go in there and say, okay, there's, uh, you know, this has, you know, 10 different sections of data knowing where it, where it needs to go. But we want to know what your problem is so we can put that in our roadmap. Uh, so if you do have issues with Square, we have connections to Square so that we can say, well, oh, wow, this client, all they want to do is, is automate their, their Square transactions from um, to QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. And then we would just, it's really quick for us to add these new custom integrations. And so we would just say, hey, we've got two or three people that are interested in this. Let's roll that out. And then, you know, let's let's give them really competitive pricing on that. And now anyone that has that problem can go in there and, and go through you know, those three-step process and load it. So just, we would love to know, you know, kind of what that struggle is with Square. You can email us and say, hey, this is what I'm looking to do. Uh, and then once we add that to our roadmap, we'll be able to provide that and say, hey, we've got this for you. Um, it's out and you can ac have access to it. Wonderful. All right, um, Dan, any last minute comments or things that you would like to share? Yeah, if, if I, if I, if we started talking, I think we'd be, you know, another, 45 minutes or so, but, uh, but yeah, this, this is just a, an amazing thing. And, and as, as funny, you know, when, when I, when I ran into you guys at, at, at scaling new heights and then saw your booth, I mean, you were kind of like tucked away in the little tiny corner and it was like, I could just spend hours and, and just, you know, the way you did showed things on, on your, um, on your, on your device there, it was just like that, that is, so much power and so much possibility in one in one place which is which is great because then you don't have to relearn other things for you know things that deal with just one specific thing awesome brian any last minute comments before we end yeah just uh we just really appreciate your time today once again thank you for signing up for newsletter and, uh, and demo and then also you know we are going to be the Costco of integrations. So we are going to be rolling out, you know, Square integrations and uh, QuickBooks desktop integrations. And we want to know what you want to have. What what do you what's your desires so that we can make sure we're building this and, and, and making this our goal so that you can organize your clients' data so that they can get things done. And if you do that, you can do a lot of great value-based pricing and make a lot of money because you're going to be giving them so much value and automating what they're having to do manually, uh, which is going to be getting rid of the mundane and empowering them to have the answers that they need to make better decisions. So super that excited to see what you guys do in the future. Yes, thank you. That is so incredible. So those of you that are still listening, I would encourage you to write them and send them an email and write down what the current situation is, what your struggles are, what's time consuming, what the bottlenecks are, let them know. Um, and, and, you know, that's where you um, can provide great input to Brian and them as well. Um, and you can help them to find solutions for you for your clients and things. So you've got their contact information. Also join us in the Facebook group. If you just search Facebook for QB Power Hour, you can join us out there. And I believe Brian and Brad uh, are out there participating as well. And um, I know a lot of you have said that you would really love to have a demo. So they will be following up with you all. Um, and we will have the recording posted shortly. So thank you, Brian and Brad and Dan and everybody for being here today. And we will see you around. Thanks, everybody. Thank Have you. a great day. Bye.